What's going on, Leo? It's time for your weekly reading. This is going to take a look at sept September. What the fuck, mom? December 19th through December 25th, 2019. Zodiac sign of Leo. If you're sun, moon, rising, Venus, it's for you. Do you guys ever get tired of hearing that? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. You're like, we know. We know what sign we are. All right, so typically my readings are love, but it's just whomever you have on your mind, however it fits into your Leo life. That would be a good book, My Leo Life. All right, if you need a private reading, all my info is below. The link is right there. We can go book your private, and I mean private, reading. All right. Also, my Instagram is there as well. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for all your support. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New viewers and subscribers. Sometimes I say bad words on this channel. Sesame Street for Tara, like we always say. My dogs are going crazy. The Leo dog. She's got to make her big fat appearance during your reading, doesn't she? All right, let's see what's coming in for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is the 19th through the 25th. Oh, God, here they come. And you know what? If I lock them out, then they just bust the door down and they bark. So I'm letting her in here. Maya, you need to keep quiet. I know it's your, I know it's your signs reading, but you know. All right, Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. What does Leo need to know, please? The 19th through the big fat 25th. That would be Christmas for those who celebrate. All right, let's see what's coming in. Okay, you need to move. Come on. Y'all, I'm telling you, she is a hot ass mess. Go! Why are you afraid? Oh my God, she's afraid. There's something going on. She's terrified. She's under my desk. What happened in the recent past? Well, the King of Swords happened. Maybe an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. What's going on now with you guys? It's the Knight of Wands. Hmm, fire energy. Somebody's feeling the passion and wants to take action. They could want to travel as well. What's on this person's mind? See, it's the chariot. As I say travel, the chariot comes out. Maybe you guys are traveling. Maybe you're traveling with an air sign. Maybe it's any sign. All right, you guys might be at a distance from this person. All right, what's on? How do they view you? Justice. All right. Sign of Libra. Are you married? Leo, are you married? But also, their perception of you is that you want to bring balance back to the situation. Maybe you want to reconcile or apologize for something. What's going on in their emotions? It's the hanged man, so they feel stuck. Pisces energy. How do they want to move forward with you? The page of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It's a page. So, you know, I think that this would be um, a little more immature relationship or newer Maybe be a friend with the Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, typically Capricorn energy for me. There's a small investment, but it's small, right? It could be communication, of course. What's going on behind the scenes, though, is the Five of Pentacles. So some sort of strife, conflict. Somebody's kind of leaving somebody out, maybe not returning text messages, ghosting. Somebody feels burr, chilly, cold. That's what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. What is your advice, Leo? Well, it's the devil, sign of Capricorn. I'm also getting Capricorn with this page of Pentacles energy for me, typically. I mean, she looks lusty to me. I'm just saying. No, but the devil can be fears, obviously. It can be there's something toxic going on. Somebody might have some obsessions. What's the outcome for you guys? It's the Four of Cups. Water, energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Somebody doesn't want something. Somebody does not want to. Getting a lot of that today. Like very imbalanced kind of energy. Somebody may have cut somebody off in the past with that King of Swords energy. And now it's like they still feel the passion. They want to rush in and it could just be for sex or something like that. On their mind is the chariot. Maybe they want to travel to come see you for the boom boom. I'm just saying. Cancerian energy, again, you might be at a distance from this person. They view you as like, uh-uh, like you're going to do the right thing, justice, right? And they feel a little bit stuck. They're trying to kind of look at this in a different light. You know, they're pausing for a second, or they may feel that you've put them at a stalemate. How they want to move forward is the Page of Pentacles. I'm getting a very, um, hey, we're good friends. You know, we've been there for each other for years. Wink, wink. But really what they want is some boom, boom or something. That's just what I'm getting. What's going on behind the scenes is somebody's going to be like, nope, I'm good. Thanks. Five of Pentacles. 
All right, and the tarot is advising you there's something kind of obsessive about this. The devil can be sex, drugs, rock and roll, Ben and Jerry's, whatever, Leo, okay? It could leave somebody feeling stuck here. And then we have the Four of Cups. We have um, a rejection. It's an emotional offer, and somebody's like, I'm, I'm good. Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, let's see. Leo, 19th through the 25th, 2019. What does Leo need to know? We're going to clarify and see. So I used the Tarot de la Nuit. It's basically just the Tarot of the Night. You can find it on Amazon, and what I'm clarifying, I don't know what the hell the name of this deck is, but I know it's by Machetti, and it's beautiful. I love it. All right. Oh, you know what? What's at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy? See the wheel. Somebody wants something to go their favor quickly. It's like they want change. It could also, I'm kind of also getting the energy of you guys are just friends, and this person's like trying to move the wheel in their favor. They want change. They want something different, and they want it quickly. Why is the Wheel of Fortune the overall energy? Why is this here? What is it? See, the Three of Cups in reverse. The Three of Cups in the upright can be a friendship. It can also be like a friends with benefits type energy. But in reverse, it's like somebody's not on the same page. There's a lack of coming to some form of an agreement. What's this Three of Cups in reverse about? Why is this the overall energy? Yeah, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not happy. I think they're not happy because they, it's like a friendship or some shit and they want it to change. They want it to go in a different way here. And with the Ten of Cups in reverse, you don't see it and they don't see happily ever after. In other words, they don't see it going their way, basically. In the past, we have a King of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is this? What is it? Yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you, you turn somebody down. It could go vice versa. Maybe they turn you down. But yeah. Looking at the bottom of the deck, six of swords. Yeah, I always like to look at the bottom and kind of see. Yeah, somebody's trying to move away from somebody. There was a breakup or some unrequited shit going on in the past. It was either with an air sign, air in their chart, or you just cut them out and you became very detached. What's this ace of cups in reverse? Yeah, the four of coin and held back. Somebody held back and they didn't want it anymore is what it looks like. Now we have this knight of wands energy. Why is this here? Nine of Wands. The Six of Coin. I don't love that in a love reading. I mean, it's kind of like they may be given to other people. This is the story I'm getting, Leo, and take it how it resonates. You're in a situation, you broke up, you moved away, and this person's coming back, but I'm getting that it's for like sex. Like I'm getting a little bit of a player energy here. It's kind of like, you know, when you first break up with somebody and you're like, can I come over? Yeah. Uh, cause on this mind is on their mind is the chariot cancer energy. I mean, the chariot can be a car. They want to get over and quickly. What's the chariot, the water Uber. Yeah. See the wheel of fortune again. Can't this just go my way, please. And whatever this is, they want it quickly. Very, very fast. <laughs> they view you as justice. Why is, uh, why does this person view Leo as justice? What is it? The three of coin, you're willing to hear them out. They know that. They view you as being very fair and balanced. You may work with this person. You're willing to hear them out because the three of coins is like, all right, let's see what's on this page. What do you got to say? I'm willing to maybe kind of build this or see what's going on here. But you're very strong and they know that about you. Why is this three of coin here? The queen of wands. Well, because of you, Leo, Sag, Aries. They know you're confident and they know you're going to take action in the in the balanced way. You're not going to do anything that you don't full heartedly feel, you know, is going to bring some sort of justice, right? And they know that. And they're also very attracted to you. Again, wands with the passion. What just fell out on the floor? The eight of wands. As I say, passion, you know, movement, travel, quick, fast. I want you. You know, it's kind of that energy. Communication, yeah, but also change. But they feel stuck. Why? Why are they the hanged man in their emotions? The two of swords stuck. Because you have them at a stalemate or because you're ignoring them. It's, again, I'm getting that energy of this has been done. And then this person's kind of like, yeah, but, you know, maybe if I come over and I talk to Leo, we can work it out. And then somehow, miraculously, we end up in bed. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how my clothes ended up on the floor. How did that happen? That's the energy I'm getting. <laughs> but they know you're not having it. I'm surprised the Queen of Swords hasn't come out. All right, so how do they want to move forward the Page of Pentacles? 
Why is this Page of Pentacles here? The King of Cups in reverse. See, they're coming out in reverse. Water, energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but they're being a little bit manipulative. Sorry, cross watchers. I'm just saying, right? They're Because how they're moving forward is, oh, we can still be friends. It's fine. Like, I value you, Leo. I really do. Like, you know, this is fine. I know we broke up, but we can still remain friends. But with that King of Cups in reverse, uh-uh. There's some sort of emotional manipulation. Why is this King of Cups in reverse? The Hermit. Be careful. Virgo energy. They may just pull away if you let them in, okay? I'm just saying. Don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. I just delivered the energy and the message. Okay, this person could go could go ghost. I'm just saying. All right, because see, in the hidden factors is the five of pentacles. This is what you don't see. Why is this five of pentacles here? The eight of coin. Give me another card on the eight of coin. Again, you might work with this person. What's this eight of coin here? What is it? The queen of cups in reverse. They may tell you that they still want to put time and effort into the connection, and then they don't. And, well, Hi. Hi, Maya, the Leo. What's up? She's going to get in the chair with me. I mean, she does this from time to time. She's kind of an attention whore. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, and it could leave you quite upset with that Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, because the Queen of Cups in reverse, she's angry. She'll throw a big fat plate at your head. And I can say that because I'm a Scorpio female. What's this Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, Temperance in reverse. Emotions are going to be all out of whack, you guys, if you let this happen. I'm just telling you. That's why your advice is the devil. There's something toxic here or something that's not quite right or good for you. Yeah, Maya. Why is the devil... <laughs> Capricorn... Why is the devil here for the advice for Leo? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You need to turn your back on this and walk away. I'm getting a lot of sexual energy. I mean, I just am. Uh, what's the Eight of Cups? Y'all, I'm dead here. The Empress, love yourself. Take care of yourself. All right, with the Empress Libra, Taurus energy. All right, the outcome. And the Empress knows her worth, you know. And also, she's going to just move forward and, you know, take flight, basically. But love yourself. Know your worth here. All right, so the outcome is the Four of Cups. Why? The Fool, yeah. You're going to turn something down that you think would be a foolish mistake. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm getting. Aries energy. Why the Fool? Why is the Fool the outcome for Leo? What is it? Yeah, the Three of Wands in reverse. You don't see your ships coming in, and you're going to turn your back on this. And I mean, I wish I could actually turn my back on this bitch behind me right now. But that's what's going to happen. So you're going to reject this person. There's something that they're offering in this cup that you don't really want. Remember, the roles could be reversed, but you're going to turn your back on it. You're going to turn it down. You're not going to take a risk. Also, you know that this is energy or a situation which would probably be because the fool can be somebody's acting a fool, like kind of, you know, not thinking before they do something um, and that it would be foolish to do. Right. And also the fool energy is not necessarily somebody that wants a commitment. That could be who you're dealing with, too. Right. Uh, why is the three of wands in reverse? Five of swords in reverse. You don't want you're not going to handle any manipulation. Anybody that's trying to kind of pull the wool over your eyes or, you know, play mind games or anything like that, you're not having. Five of Swords in reverse for Leo. Six of Cups in reverse. There's too many memories, bad memories of the situation, either of this person or a past situation. And you're like, nope, your energy is really strong. And that's why they're viewing you as justice and the Queen of Wands. Justice and the Queen of Wands is like, I know right from wrong. I'm the Queen of Wands. I'm going to take flight. I'm going to take action. I never just sit back and let shit happen. That's the Queen of Wands, all right? And she has a lot of suitors. I mean, really, the Queen of Wands can get anybody. So I'm just saying. That's what I have for you, Leo. Loving you hard. Love me hard back. Maya, well, she's laying down now, but she also loves you hard. Take care.